Well, hi, everyone. Uh, if you haven't met me before, uh, my name's Kyle Yunkin. I'm the product owner here at Gallus Golf. Uh, with me is our director of customer success, Gallus, or <laughs> Gallus, Matt Caden <laughs> is with me. Yeah, you can call me Mr. Um, Gallus, so yes, I don't know. That's yeah, weird. Mr. Gallus. It's a, it's a weird. That is, yeah. yeah. Uh, we're excited to finally show you our league software. Um, we've gotten a lot of questions from a lot of you, and for a couple of months, some of you have even been testing it out for us and letting us know all the little tweaks we need to make. So um, let me advance on this slideshow. First, I want to give you a little quick reminder on what the Pro Tips series is. Uh, this is episode two of a five-part series we're doing to start the year. Um, the idea is they're 30 minutes or less. We're gonna push that today because we've got a lot to show you, um, but we're trying to get them really quick and um, detailed on a specific feature within the app. We're trying to inspire you and show you some um, both common uses and also some more out of the box uses that you can get out of your Gallus mobile app. And uh, we're also trying to get all of the recordings up on YouTube. So like Matt was mentioning, um, if there's any of these that you can't make um, or maybe you just uh, want to kind of quickly fast forward through to get to the parts that you want, uh, you totally can just watch it on YouTube. We normally get it up the same day, uh, send out an email to everybody too. But um, the advantage of being here is Matt and I are, are here to answer your questions. So you'll notice in the top left of your screen, there's a Q&A box. So if any questions come up throughout it, um, feel free to type it in there. Uh, we will either answer it like in that moment, if it's still pertinent to what we're talking about, or if not, we've actually got a section at the end where we do a full Q and A um, with all the questions that we had in the box. So I wanna remind you, um, I think it's always good before we start these to kind of remember what our goal is uh, with having a mobile app. Like, why are we doing this whole thing? Uh, the goal of it is to get users to download your app so then you can take advantage of that audience to actually send out like push notifications and create pop-ups and do news items and things like that. So we here at Gallus have so many modules that you can utilize and like at the very core of them, what we're trying to do is create an engaging experience for your users so they download your app and then you get to actually market out to them. It's all like a give and take uh, with all of this app stuff. So quickly, I just wanna give you an overview. We're gonna just try to give you a really great picture of what our league software is, um, where its limits are, what the functionality will be, and um, our goal is once you get out of this, you really have a great idea of whether it's gonna fit at your facility or not. So um, there's a lot of bullet points there. Uh, we're gonna go through them all as we're going through, but just so you know, that's the general uh, gist of where we're going here. So a lot of this is actually going to be a demo. So I'm going to get into our Gallus admin dashboard here. So here I am in our Gallus admin dashboard. It's manager.gallusgolf.com, if you uh, don't know. I'm in one of my demo apps, and I'm going to hit this events button right here. It's going to take me to a redesigned listing page uh, because we've always had tournaments, but now we're adding leagues to it. So we're differentiating them through this uh, button at the top right. So I can hit leagues here, and that's going to show me all the leagues that I have created. But what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to create one from scratch so you can see how it works. So when I hit create, it's going to take me to the very familiar, if you've used our tournament software, uh, create page. But now there is a little toggle you'll notice for league. So if I hit this league toggle, it's actually going to change some of my options down below. And then I can start filling out my league's uh, basic information uh, with whatever details I want. So I'm gonna create a Friday Night Global League. So I'm just gonna put that title in at the top and spell it right. And uh, down below, I'm gonna select my scoring format. So 
what we do here at Gallup is we separate it into three different field types. There's a team, individual, and a combo of team and individual option. For team leagues, you can do a scramble, a best ball, uh, either one, two, or three best ball, or an alternate shot. Um, all of these scoring formats, by the way, have the option to be either gross, net, or both scoring. Individual scoring is going to give you more of a stroke or a stableford format as your options. So it's just stroke and stableford as your options there. And if you want to do a combo, you can do a one, two, or three best ball for your team format, along with either a stroke or a stableford as your individual format. Now, um, one caveat that I want to mention is if you want to kind of change it up on a weekly basis, uh, you can actually do any combo of the options for a scoring format. Um, so like one week you could do a scramble, but then the next week you could have it be a one best ball. Um, but you can't like hop field types, like you can't one week have it be a team one and then have it be an individual. You're basically tied to what this field selection is. So what I'm going to set up here is I'm going to do an individual stroke play league. I'm going to do it net. And uh, you'll notice there's a handicap allowance field here where I can take a cut off of uh, everybody's course handicap. So I'm going to say, you know, maybe I want to just kind of try to level the playing field a little bit, squish everybody down. And I want to do 80% of what their course handicap is. So now another big change that we do with leagues is we can have a season long leaderboard. So the idea with this season long leaderboard is it's like a FedEx Cup style point spread. Um, you can actually edit these values, and every week um, it's based off of their placement on that week's leaderboard. So, for instance, like one week I could do great, and I could get maybe like a thousand points for first place. But then maybe the next week I don't do so hot, and I actually get ninth place. Then that one maybe we want to assign ninety points for a ninth place. Adjust this too. Well, maybe we'll do. Uh, 84 points just to get it below so you can adjust these to be whatever you want and uh, it calculates all of that for you on a season-long leaderboard that we will uh, go into more detail on later so now we've got our tournament basic info set up we have our scoring format and our season-long leaderboard now we're going to just choose what our rounds are so you have two different options here for rounds um, you can either auto generate all of your rounds in one shot, or you could add them individually. Uh, there's advantages and disadvantages to both options. I'll lay them out for you. So the big advantage to adding them weekly is, I mean, you can come in here and you can say, all right, I wanna do uh, my start date. I want it to be maybe like tomorrow. And I want it to be going through, uh, say April, just the end of April. I can choose my start time, my course that I want it to be, and then uh, what my default T is for everybody. You'll actually be able to assign uh, T's to people later on. Um, and then I can do shotgun or tea time. Now, if I hit add weekly, every single round is gonna have this same info. Like it's gonna have the uh, stroke play scoring format. Um, it's gonna be on Whiskey Barrel South and it's going to have blue as the default t i'll hit add they all generate right there really quick and easy if you have just a kind of simple like it's the same thing every single week type of league but if maybe uh you want to actually have more control over some of the options then you, this is where you can come in and you can actually add individual rounds so you can say this specific date uh this specific course and t and then you can as you as I mentioned before, you can adjust the scoring format based off what your needs are. Um, so this will take a little bit more time, but you get some power over um, that, at least initially. Uh, one thing I will mention, though, is uh, we'll see later on that if you generate them weekly, you can actually go in and edit them after the fact. So it's honestly, there's just options depending on how your workflow goes. Um, and so how, you how many weeks you have to. Yeah, if you have a ton of weeks, it's easiest to 
I find like auto generate and then go back and edit. But if you have just a few weeks, you know, if you have like five or six and they're all different, it might be easier just to make them all individual. So it's really, yeah. it's really up to you guys. So it's personal preference, really. So just kind of trying to lay it all out for you. Um, a couple of more options here. These are the same as what we have actually in our tournament software as well. But you can choose the way the names display on the leaderboards. Um, so like a lot of people like the last name, first name option. Uh, again, personal preference on that. Um, you can upload logos that display on the leaderboards and also some print materials as well. And if you have like some straight up rules, you can pop them in here. And those appear on a player handout that we generate for you that you can give to people like on week one. So they know how to like keep scoring the app. What are the rules for the league? Like all that stuff. So once I hit continue here, it's going to generate the event. And then it will take me to a checklist page where I can get a really good idea of what info is missing and what info is good to go. So some basics on this page. You'll notice that these steps are different colors. If it's red, the league cannot run until you go in and input info. Like if you don't have any players in your league roster, that's a problem. You got to get in there and add some players. Um, if it's yellow, that means uh, that it's missing something, but it's not going to prevent the league from running. So like you don't have to have flights in your league, but it's just letting you know that you don't have any set up quite yet. And obviously if it's green, that means technically the league could run. Like this is not preventing, like it has leaderboards set up for the league. Um, one thing to mention is if you hit the edit pencil at the top left, that allows you to adjust any of the settings that you just did on your create page. So if you change your mind on what you want your points for season long leaderboard to be, you can come and change that. And uh, like I was mentioning before, if you say, oh, you know what, actually, uh, week four, I want this to be a um, Stableford instead. I can come in and say Stableford. Just switch the and course. Notice, yeah. If you, yeah, you, know, you some, some leagues, if you do front you nine, back nine every every other week, you can come in here and adjust that too. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And you can adjust your Stableford points too. I forgot to mention that. Um, so you can do that as well. So I'll hit update. That'll take a second to load. And then we are good to go on that. So just another option for you. I am going to get back to our checklist page though. Um, now the question you're probably wondering is like, how do I get all this info in here? Um, you can of course like manually input people if you want to, but what we have found most people do is they use our spreadsheet template functionality. So what this is, is we will give you a Excel file that you can download and then you fill out everybody's details upload it here and it's going to build the whole thing for you i'll show you so i have uh this is in google feeds but you can obviously whatever your spreadsheet app of choice is you can go in and you can add people's names um a couple pieces of information that are important for other things later on are like your gen numbers so if uh, you have gen numbers, it's really ideal if you're doing a net scoring format, because that will allow us, we'll see later on, to get people's indexes um, and calculate their course handicap for them. But if you want to go the manual route, you can also input their course handicaps here, and then that will transfer into their profile within the event itself. Um, you can also input people's emails. Um, the reason this email column is important is because again we will see later on that we have a push notification integration where you can send out targeted messages just to people within this league um, the way that we target them is based off of the email that is inputted in their user profile uh, so it's not sending them an email it's sending them a push but uh, it's important that you fill this out if you're looking to use that functionality because that will allow you to do the targeted push notifications. If that makes sense. So um, you fill this whole thing out, you download it as an Excel SX file, come back here and upload it. It's gonna take a second to think and then we're gonna notice that uh, it's gonna give us the thumbs up 
import successful. That's what we like to see. And then when we go back to our checklist page, boom, our league roster has everything set up. Uh, we've got some flights created and uh, all of that information we had put into that spreadsheet is in there. Now, um, the one thing that you'll notice is missing still is groups. So in order, well, here, I'll back up. At the moment, in order for a league round to run, you have to have groups inputted beforehand. Um, in some other softwares, it's called pairings, but it's basically who's playing with who and what hole they're starting on. If you go into groups, you can control your groups on a per round basis by hitting this drop down. And uh, the easiest way to get groups going is you can auto generate them. So I'll hit auto generate. It's going to ask me some questions like how many players do I want per group? How many max groups can I have per hole? You can even say, you know, I don't want um, two groups going off of hole four and seven if it's a par three or something like that. You can have the grouping preference based off of a number of different factors. And you can do it either ascending or descending, depending on whatever you chose up top. So um, I'm just going to do random, uh, just to make it kind of fun. And I'm going to hit generate. I'm going to think for a second. And it has all my groups created now for round one. Uh, if you, at the last minute, need to like switch them around, you can actually drag and drop people to different sections. Uh, which will really quickly uh, adjust their groups. Um, so from there, you can also uh, control multiple rounds, just like I mentioned. Uh, so we have our group set up. If we go back to our home screen, we'll see that round one is green. So that means we are officially in the green for everything. Uh, the next question we need to answer is, okay, so round one went well. <laughs> but uh, what about like round two? And I need to go in and I need to adjust people's handicaps and do a bunch of different things. If you hit this league roster section, it's going to take you to a screen that shows you everybody that's playing in your league. Again, there's a drop down at the top left where you can actually select um, which round you're editing. And uh, you can come in and you can change a couple different values. If you want to, um, edit somebody's course handicap manually, we're actually going to be releasing a fix in the coming weeks where you can actually adjust their course handicap right here. But for now, if you want to edit it, you can click into them and adjust them on the ensuing screen. Um, another thing to mention too, is that if somebody maybe doesn't want to keep scoring the app or something like that, uh, and they hand you a physical scorecard, you can come in here and you can input their scorecard and also if they kept scoring the app and you need to make an adjustment, you also, of course, have that power. You can come in and you can adjust their scorecard accordingly. It'll change it on all the leaderboards. Um, if you don't want to manually input people's course handicaps, like I mentioned before, you can absolutely um, input their GIN numbers beforehand. And we have an API integration with the USGA so that we can grab their indexes. A couple things that are of value to you are one, this T box column. Um, you can adjust which T they're playing from. So we'll take the proper slope and rating uh, for that. Uh, the adjusted handicap is that handicap allowance field that I set up on the create screen. So you can totally um, do that and we'll make that calculation for you automatically. And uh, last but not least, if I uh, it's the morning of the round and you want to update everybody's index, you just come in here and hit update gin. It'll tell you the last time it was updated and then you hit update now. It'll take a second to load and then everybody's uh, index will be updated that has a gin number inputted. And you can tell that by this uh, little column right here. It'll show up red if their gin account isn't in good standing, just so you know. So you can always uh, see that as well. Uh, one final thing just to mention on this league roster screen is uh, the push notification integration. So I mentioned before how important it is to have the email address um, if you want to use this. When you hit send push notification, it's going to open up a new screen. Uh, if you've used your app before, you'll be very familiar with the fact that you can come in here and you can write a message that goes out to people. But you'll notice we autofilled all of the emails for you. So uh, basically, if you type in your message, um, set an action for it and hit send, 
it's going to just send it out to everybody. So some examples of this are like, if you want to remind everybody that the round is coming up, maybe you want to um, send out the leaderboard so everybody can check the leaderboard during a league round, or uh, maybe there's like an on-course notification, like there's a lightning delay or something like that. You can come in, you can hit send push notification and really quickly get a message out to everybody, which is uh, super handy. So that's uh, one other thing that you can do on there. All right, moving on to leaderboards. So if you hit this leaderboards section right here, it's gonna take a second to load. And then uh, we're gonna see all of our leaderboards where we can manage uh, the weekly ones along with getting a peek at the season long leaderboard. So leaderboards, we're gonna auto populate the full field in the scoring format that you chose. But if you had added flights before, which are of course groupings of people within the event, like maybe you have like a skins flight or something like that, you can come in here and add a leaderboard and then you'll notice the flights are pre-filled. So uh, you can, of course, go back to the flight step and add more if you have other flights and they'll show up in this list as well. But uh, if maybe I want to do uh, skins by whole gross for the skins flight, I can come in and add that. And then that's going to add that to my round one list. I can come in and control any of the rounds on the leaderboards by just hitting the drop down. So this weekly leaderboard URL, which will appear also in the app, um, so they can view it like while they're keeping score. It's going to show you all of the players. It's going to show you all of the scores that they inputted. And uh, it does auto scroll too. I think I started scrolling it. So here, let me reload it real quick. And then you can see. So this is designed to actually go like up on a TV screen um, in the pro shop or something like that. You can pull this up and then people can go and check it. Uh, but also one of the advantages to it is that you can actually um, click on somebody's score and it's going to show you their full scorecard. So you get all that information. This plus, uh, plus anybody, Kyle, just to chime in, anybody that like uses the scorecard or uses the league uh, software to score on their phone, there's a leaderboard button in the bottom left corner as they're playing so they can see the leaderboard live. And it looks a little different because it's squished and mobile friendly. Um, but also you can just send out the leaderboard at the beginning of the league because it's going to be the same. It's going to add all the additional weeks after the fact. Like when Kyle clicks on the date, you can change the date. So you can send out the weekly leaderboard in the season-long leaderboard at the beginning of the season, and it will autofill every week once you have the scores in there um, so that you can basically either post that in your app as a, as a button um, or have it as a news item or send it out as an email to your league people or send it as a push to your league people as well. So. Yeah, absolutely. So this essentially becomes kind of like a one stop shop for people to come and check um, how things are progressing throughout the league. And then you get the full history of it um, by the end. But um, that's not all. Uh, the other thing that we're going to be supporting is the season long leaderboard. So you'll remember in the beginning, we added FedEx Cup style points. Uh, this release is actually coming out. We're hoping to get it out next week. Um, so I'll show you some screenshots just so you can get a general idea. When they go to the season long leaderboard that you set up with all of your points, you'll be able to see a list of everyone that's on the league roster. It'll tell you how many events that they played in, and it'll also tell you how many points they've accumulated. When you click on a specific player, it's going to give you their week by week breakdown so that you can see how many points they earned that week, what their score was. You can click in to see their scorecard and everything like that. So this becomes an even more um, historical record of what the league is. And the best part is we're calculating all of the season long points for you. Um, it just happens. Like people open up their app, keep scoring the app, sends it to our servers. And then we make all the calculations, do all the work for you so that uh, all that is kept track of. And that's so, what's nice. Uh, you can have different game types every week, but it just matters what place you finish. So you can play Stableford one week, Stroke play another week, and it will. It doesn't matter how many Stableford points you get. It's you know what place you finish that week against everybody else, which is nice. Exactly. And that um, which leaderboard is... Um, taken into account for the placement is dependent on what's number one in this list. 
for the round. So like if you had like maybe you had like a stroke gross and a stroke net leaderboard set up for round one, uh, but you want the stroke net one to be the one that counts towards the season points, just put it as the top one and then that will control um, the points for the season long leaderboard. That's a little more of like a super user tip, but just so you know, it's there. Um, okay. Check did you, want, did you want to talk about tie tiebreakers super fast? And then we. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. So um, tiebreakers right now we don't have anything automated. So just to let you know, uh, you can much like the tournament software come in and edit any leaderboard that you want, um, and you can come in here and you can manually break ties. Um, so just so you know, that's there. I think it's worth mentioning because I know that a lot of you will ask that question. Um, okay, so we have like our whole league set up. We've added the roster. We've added groups. Um, one thing that I want to mention too that I failed to mention was uh, we are going to be adding a self-creating groups functionality as well. Um, so like some of you want to maintain control over who's playing together in your leagues. So in your case, this flow is going to work perfectly. You come in here, you indicate the groups, they join within the app. Some of you have more casual leagues where, okay, we just want them to come into the app, tell us who they're playing with, what hole they're starting on, and then just go. And then just allow them to do that without me having to go in as a league coordinator to go and say who's playing with who, because that's more work. So you're going to have the option to just leave that group section empty. And then that's going to basically have a fork in the road within the app where it's going to send them on a different path so that they can tell you. So I'll show you. The idea is they come into the app, they hit today's events at the top, and then they select which event they're playing in. When they do, it's going to show you the league roster uh, on the left. So you can select, okay, this is me that's playing. And then the next screen is going to say, okay, who are you playing with? So you can select who you're playing with, um, up to four additional players, and hit next. Um, this will be a little different for teams, obviously, because teams, uh, for most of the formats, need to play together. So we'll make that decision for them on that case. Once they do all of those steps, it's then going to say, all right, what hole are you starting on? And confirm and start round. At that point, they're just going to be in there. And the best part is you didn't have to go in and set up anything for groups in your dashboard. It's going to be really quick and easy, and it's just going to run itself. Basically, you just need to go in, add the league roster, and if necessary, adjust handicaps on a weekly basis um, if you're doing a net scoring format. So uh, I missed that in the groups section. So just wanted to make sure I uh, got that in there um a couple other things i know we're at 30 so i'm going to try to go through these quick um print materials of course very important because there's some things that you'll need on a week-to-week -week basis once again we separated them through a drop down at the top so you can see each round if you do set up groups beforehand um you can come in and get like their cart signs uh, we will have a generic cart sign template if you don't set up groups that'll say like the league name and have the logos on it so that you can still put that on your cart to make it look professional um i mentioned the player handout you can get their overall results if you just want to get that and the other thing i wanted to mention too is um maybe in the beginning of this when we were set showing you all the scoring formats you went, my league doesn't use these scoring formats. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to use this. Um, we may not be able to do all the calculations for you, but the least we can do is get all of their scores through the app and then allow you to um, go in and export them so that you can then manipulate those scores within. Um, so what you can do is go to the scoring results one, you can do it in Excel. That's probably going to be what you do most of the time. But I'll do it in a PDF just so you can quickly see. It shows you the full scorecard for each player. Um, so you can use the app to collect all those scores. It'll all be within the system. And then you can do whatever you need to do um, with those different scores. So just yeah, wanted to I've, mention that's an additional. I've, I've heard that a lot of, you know, if you're managing a league, some of the hardest parts is just collecting all the scorecards and getting them all collected. This way, at least you have a way to 
you know, have people use your app to score, get you the raw strokes, and then you can throw it into an Excel spreadsheet or, you know, calculate it however you need to calculate it later. Um, but at least you have a place that it saves everything for you. Everything's done and it makes it a little bit simpler to kind of organize all your stuff. So we have a lot of people that have been using our software for leagues in the past this way by just literally collecting, you know, the, the strokes and then doing it themselves. So it's, it's still, it might not be a hundred percent what you need, but at least should hopefully help you save a couple steps and makes your life a little bit easier. That's what we're trying to do. So. Yeah. Dan Fouts shot a 59. Not too bad for an old guy. I know. <laughs> I'm like, oh, he's got a lot. He's had the most practice after uh, you know, not playing. So. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, okay, a couple other things that I'm remembering I need to mention here. Um, on this checklist page, um, many of you are seeing this and going, I just want to give this to my league coordinator and just let them just go with it. Um, we have a host access link that you can provide to them. This will give them access to just this league. So they can come in and they can make edits to it, but they can't go into any other part of your app. Like they can't send a push out. Um, they can't like create an offer in the offer locker. They can just edit the league roster and all these different steps within. So uh, that host access URL is at the bottom of the checklist page, super helpful with that. And then um, the other thing I wanna mention, if you're really vibing with this and you're like, yes, like let's use this for our league, um, we always want to remind you how important promoting the app is and getting the word out. Um, I mentioned the player handout earlier, but also just to kind of quickly review, under engage users, there's a promote section in your dashboard, and this has like everything you need to get the word out about your app. Um, the smart download URL is what you can use to direct people. So like if you send out an email to them, you can say, hey, click here to download our app. And it's going to tell if it's an iPhone or an Android, and it'll send them to the right store. It'll do all that good stuff. Um, there's also a QR code. If you want to put that on like your scorecards or anything like that, uh, you can download that right there. And then we also will pop in a bunch of graphics for you at the bottom. Um, so you can download these. You can use them uh, where you need. I mean, a lot of them are designed to be printed out, but like, that doesn't mean you can't put them up on a website. I mean, like there's a web banner and like all that sort of stuff. It's important to tell people about the app because without telling them, like, how are they going to know? Like most people aren't going to organically just search for your app. So uh, it's important to get the word out about that. Um, so lastly, I want to yeah, yeah. chime in real quick is I know we had a uh, question earlier about um, if you don't see this turned on in your uh, dashboard right now in your events, it's because this is still technically in our beta testing. Um, as Kyle was mentioning, you know, the season long leaderboard isn't finished. The uh, self creating groups is not finished as well. But if you want it turned on now, um, if you just want to get kind of trial and get stuff going, it is working um, just without the season long leaderboard working currently. Um, you can, we can turn it on for you. So just email us, let us know. Um, you know, uh, that you want to turn it on and you'll be added to the beta list and we will, we can turn it on for you right now. So you can kind of play around with it, but just know it's not quite finished. <laughs> That's why we're, uh, uh, getting some final, final tuning done, hopefully here in the next week or two. Yeah. And just to call out like, what's, what's missing the season long leaderboards. We are like, like I mentioned before, we're wrapping that up. We're hoping to get that done by next week. Um, probably the next couple of weeks. <laughs> so um, adjust accordingly. And then uh, the other thing it, that's not necessarily a deal breaker, but just to call it out was that self-creating groups flow that I showed you. We're hoping to have that by the end of this month. So, um, but that's not going to prevent you from running, running a league because you can set up groups manually like we walk through. them. So uh, like Matt said, support at gallusgolf.com just email us and say, I want leagues and we'll turn it on for you today so that you can start playing around with it. Um, but we just want to make sure before we do a wide rollout that it is a hundred percent functional. Um, so that's why uh, there's a If you're here, you at there. least are uh, ahead of the curve and you're learning about it and we don't want to just turn it on and to have people try to click on things and have them not work. So now that you're aware and that you know what's working, not working, that's why we, uh, we only turn on for a select group earlier in the season that that we emailed and they wanted to kind of test it for us so yeah absolutely yeah. um let's see 
Any other questions we have? Uh, the biggest one was, uh, Steve wanted to know about match play. I know that we currently aren't doing match play. Um, it is part of our tournament software for like a regular tournament. It's still match play still works, um, for single rounds, but not for, we're not, that's not here for this season, uh, for this first go round, uh, with leagues. Uh, that was there's one question. quite a few, there's quite a few nuances with yes. match play that we want to yes. make sure we get right before yeah. we do it. It was a lot more worse than, than we thought initially to get it working on a week by week so that we had to shelve that for hopefully next year um gary said love this uh seven leagues happening at sawmill this this year 2023 awesome gary thanks so much um yeah and uh and then gary also had a question what's player added mean i don't know where exactly i missed when you put that in so i wasn't sure what screen uh, kyle was on kyle do you does that ring a bell player added I'm not a hundred percent sure. So no. Gary, if you still have that question, like hit yeah. us up. Yeah, just reach out. Yeah. Um we can we can look at it. I if I saw the screen it was on, I would probably know, but without knowing the screen, it's hard to uh, hard to tell. Um and then I think that was everything else I answered pretty well. There wasn't anything. Yeah, the beta test was just yeah, if it's not in there right now, uh just just email us. Uh yeah. Oh, oh one thing that just is one thing that just uh, uh popped into my head that I want to mention. Yeah. Yeah. Um like many of you are probably sitting there like wondering what the cost of this is gonna be. Um if you have the tournament software in your app already, it's included. It's included. Yeah, it's part of your app. Like but we're some, not I know, gonna charge you anything extra. Yeah. But if you it. don't, you have to have the tournament software, which most a big chunk of our customers do, but if you don't have this currently, if you have been um, uh, with us back before we had tournament software uh, built into the app, um, you can add it on as well. It's um, we, you can reach out to us and we can we can talk with add, it, add that in. So, uh, Damien, yeah. uh, real quick, had a last minute question: Is eclectic scoring an option? I don't even know what eclectic scoring is. Do you know what that is, Kyle? Um. I'm assuming no, because I don't know what is, but he... I don't believe so. But you know what, Damien, let me let me do some research on that and I'll get back to you. Let's let's say that. <laughs> um, OK, cool. So here, just to wrap up, um, you guys probably know this, all this, but just want to mention there's like so many ways to get in touch with us. So if you have questions after this, like we get off and you go, dang it, I should ask that. Um, or maybe you're watching this on YouTube later and you don't have a Q&A box. Um, you can check out our knowledge base. We have articles on all this league stuff. Um, and if you're in the league software, any page that you're on will have a help button in the top right that you can click to get to the article. So just know that like everything's documented. Um, you can email us at support at gallusgolf.com. Like I mentioned, there's our phone number, our dashboard uh, login, if you forgot about that. And uh, you can also chat with us um, on any page that is gallusgolf.com um, and domain. So it is, uh, it's all there. Um, I see. Yeah, I was looking it up too, Damien. Thanks. Uh, Eclectic is basically like you play multi rounds and you take the best individual hole by hole for each round and make a one eighteen hole score. So it's basically like a I see. I see. Yeah, yeah not quite yet. We're not yeah. there yet. Yeah. So um but I will put that in the feature request bucket. Um yeah. but we're always looking for other things to adjust. That's something that is yeah. I can see being, you know, we already I mean with our um monthly tournament series we used to do something like that. Um, correct yeah. yeah so yeah that's a good suggestion damien because it's not super complicated but we can see if it won't be this coming soon but uh hopefully next year if this goes well and we everything's working we uh hopefully we'll keep adding stuff to this next year so absolutely awesome well thank you everyone so much for coming we're this is like I mean, we've been working on this for like months, like yeah. eight plus months. So uh, we're really excited to finally like get it out in the wild and see how you guys use it. So uh, if you have feedback or questions or something where you're like, man, it would really be nice if this was there or it did this instead, 
feel free to reach out to us. Like we're an open book and we really want to uh, make this the easiest software for you to run your leagues. So um, thanks so much for your time and hope you have a great rest of your day. Yeah. Thanks everybody. Thanks for showing up and uh, we'll see you in a couple of weeks on the next one.